What's up, guys? So, I'm on my way to the gym. And it's a pretty rainy, gloomy day here. And I, I was thinking earlier while I was doing my workout at home, uh, you know, I can give you all these tips about exercise and all the tips to make you stronger and what you need to know, but really the most important thing and the most uh, important aspect of, you know, exercising or achieving your goals, period, in life is motivation. You have to have the motivation to be able to continue to work out and to be able to push forward even whenever you're in pain. Like right now, I'm sick. I feel like crap. I feel like sitting at home and just playing video games all day, but I'm on my way to the gym, like I said, because I have a goal that I want to achieve, because I'm motivated. And that's one of the one of the most common problems with people, I think, now, is they're not motivated enough to actually, you know, do or continue a workout plan. You know, they might start it, and then after a week or so, they just, they lose heart. Um, you know, one of the most important tips I can give you for motivation is find something you really want to achieve. You know, whether it's a better body or better goals or a better life period, you have to you have to find that and you have to remind yourself constantly of it. Like, let's say you're trying to lose weight, right? Uh, get a picture or something of what favorite actor who has who's built, you know, who's big, if you're trying to gain muscle mass, and get that as your wallpaper, so every time you look at your phone or your computer or something, you see it every single day, and it'll be impossible for you not to think about your goals. My motivation, the thing I do is, I do, I usually motivate myself in two ways. Uh, it's good to have a rival, and I have a couple of rivals, and Every time, you know, I'm in the gym or I'm running and I just think about giving up or taking a break or skipping a set, I always think about them being right there next to me laughing at me while they get better and I sit there and rest. Or another thing, you know, I'm, like I said, I want to save the world and I want to help people and protect people. So I think about, you know, what if, if I skip this set, I'll, I'll lose that one little extra ounce of strength I need to be able to pull a car off of a battle buddy or something on the battlefield. Something like that. You have to find something that motivates you in a way that it'll flood your body with energy. Whether that emotion is anger or happiness or love, you have to attach motivation to an emotion. And when you do that, whenever you get to the point whenever you can just mentally think about something and it motivates you that's that's when you you'll be able to push through anything you know no matter how tired you are no matter how sick you are all you have to do is think about that one thing that motivates you and you'll be able to push through it now like I said you know my goal is to save the world and it's a pretty big goal so I have to stay motivated you know I can't lose heart I can't just sit here and take a day off because evil doesn't take a day off you know, that sounds like something a cartoon character would say, and it sounds corny, but it's just the truth. While I'm sitting here taking a break, the bad guys could be out there getting stronger, and I could lose the day that I need to improve. <clears throat> so, you know, <clears throat> whether it's happiness or anger, you need to find an emotion. Attach an emotion to whatever you're doing, whether it's losing weight, whether it's trying to get stronger, whether it's making a better life for yourself. Think of why you're doing it. Even if it's, you know, try not to make it a selfish goal, because if it's a selfish goal, eventually you're going to lose heart. Try to find, try to find a way to do it to, to where you're doing it to better somebody else's life. Like, say you're trying to get stronger, okay? Instead of trying to get stronger just to pick up chicks, for, you know, for guys, try to get stronger so you can help save a friend's life, or something, you know, of that nature. And when you do that, I'm sorry, I have to be on the windows. You know, when you do that, 
that's that's when you'll be able to actually uh, succeed because you won't be thinking selfishly you'll be thinking you know you'll be thinking if I give up what, what are the other people gonna think you won't be thinking oh I, I can use a day off no that thought can't cross your head you can't take any days off you have to you know there is this concept of overtraining and stuff but overtraining is individualized meaning what might be overtraining for one person could be just a regular workout for another. And, you know, you have to find, that That all comes down to finding your limits. Everybody has their own, you know, you, you might not be able to do as many sets as your friend, or you might be able to pull a little bit heavier than your friend. It's, it's all on you, and how hard you want to push it. Everything is determined by this right here. You know, you can sit there and be strong, but if you don't have the mental capacity to tell your body, you know, to get up and to push yourself harder, then you won't be able to get it. If you set limitations in your mind, then your body has already set limitations for itself because your mind controls your body. If you think in your mind, you know, I can't get bigger, I can't get stronger, it's impossible, then your body is just going to follow what your mind is thinking. So you have to train your mind to be able to think everything is possible. No matter what your goal is, no matter what you're trying to achieve, you have to be able to believe with every ounce of blood and cells in your body, you have to believe that it's possible. And that's my motivational tip for the day, guys. You know, I was just thinking about this, and it, it's, it's a common problem, you know. A lot of my friends tell me, you know, how do you find the motivation to work out every day? Because they can't even find the motivation to get out of bed sometimes. And so I tell them, you know, it's, it's really not as hard as it seems. So that's what I do, you know, I envision my rivals laughing at me, I envision letting people down, and that's what drives me, you know, that's not going to drive everybody. So find the thing that drives you, and when you find it, keep pushing at it, and I guarantee you, you'll be able to achieve anything and everything you want to. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope I helped somebody out. If you have any questions or comments, you know, feel free to ask. I'll, I'll always be available. You know, either message me on YouTube or I have links to my social media sites like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I have all of that. Message me if you need help or anything like that, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day.